If you're doing anything outside today, you're likely going to be dodging some showers. We've got some fairly light stuff showing up on the Max Track Live, and it's primarily out west. You can see showers, Bardstown, up through Louisville. Louisville had some decent showers blow through some heavier rain earlier this morning on the Max Track Live. And if we uh, put the map into motion, you can see those showers you know, cruising through western counties mainly and definitely out across western Kentucky. So it's turning into a soaker for western Kentucky. We're just kind of running the eastern periphery of that, which means we'll see a few showers, thunder showers today into the afternoon. Two features south and east. You've heard a lot about the SpaceX launch. Still storms firing around the Space Coast down uh, toward Florida. And also that telltale swirl that just blew through Charleston, the official landfall out around Mount Pleasant earlier this morning. That's Bertha, second named storm in the month of May. Tropical storm, and it's now 40 miles northeast of Charleston, South Carolina. Heading inland is going to be a major flash flood threat, torrential tropical rain going into the Carolinas and possibly even up towards western Virginia. And just a quick check, uh, the uh, 20, uh, 2020 hurricane names, you can see Arthur, Bertha, already checked off the list, and the, the season hasn't even started yet. The setup, well, you've got Bertha in the Carolinas, and you've got this slow-moving upper low over the south-central U.S. Everything's going to loosen up. Bertha will lift out, and that upper low will start to move in, and eventually will be overhead here by probably Friday. I mean, it's going to be slow progress. It'll take a couple of days. And all the while that that's happening, we will see an increasing chance for, you guessed it, active weather, showers, thunder showers. A few out there. There's the uh, remnant low of Bertha as it makes its way up toward the mountains, that trough pushing uh, northwest and kind of washing out. And here comes a front, and here comes that wave of low pressure. So some scattered showers and storms tomorrow, and then showers and storms likely, especially late Friday. Maybe one of those days there's not a lot going on in the morning, and then things fire up later in the day. Uh, right now, Bluegrass Airport's temperature, we're in the mid-70s. It's mostly cloudy, at times partly sunny through the morning. So we're in the 70s, may get lucky and hit 80. We've got a, cloud, a lot of cloud cover hanging around. And notice that gradual decline temperature-wise. In addition to that uptick in showers and thunder showers, it'll max out Friday. Temperature's going to take a hit. It is going to be a very cool weekend, especially when you compare it to how warm it just was for your Memorial Day weekend. Highs around 80 today, upper 70s next couple of days, and then mid-70s Saturday, and then we bottom out possibly only in the upper 60s. Very cool for this time of the year. That's about 10 degrees below our average high. The good news is we'll bounce back 70s to around 80 by the middle of next week, and on top of that, we just might string four or five dry days together out there uh, late in your eight-day forecast.